Hi. Morning, everybody. Uh, Today is Daf Samachay. So we're going to still touch upon a little bit we discussed yesterday. We had machlekas between, I think it was Rav and Rabbi Yechanan. And I, I wouldn't say a similar machlekas, but the machlekas of the way they learn will sort of apply in our Mishnah. And it works out better according to some than others, as we'll soon see. But basically, the question is by Dichui, once you have something happens to one of the animals, one of the Seir, they do a lottery. They do a lottery. They have two animals, two he goats. They do a lottery. One goes as a carbon is sacrificed, is shechted, his blood is applied inside the Kadosh Kadashim, applied in the Heichal, applied in the Zbech Azov. The other Seir is pushed off a cliff as we didn't really get to the, that Sugi yet. And they're done as a pair. And if something happens to one of them, then the question is, at which point does something happen? If it's before the Garel, just take another one. If it's after the Garel, what do you do? So we had a Machlekes in a Mishnah with Rabbi Yehuda. And then, so in the Mishnah also mentioned, the, 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 it was the first Mishnah of the Perak. Um, and then it was Machlekes. Okay, something happens. You let it go ahead and graze. And then the other, Rabbi Yehuda says, no. Um, it says it dies. This, this is no, it, we don't apply the rule of in Chathas Sibar Mesa because he holds this also dies. And then, so Tanan, let, let, let's, let's start from there. So we are around, I don't know, three, six, seven lines from the top of Samach Hei Amad Aleph. Tanan, we learn in our Mishnah. I'll just keep my finger on the Mishnah, right? And Daf uh, Samach Beis, if you need to reference back to the Mishnah. So Tanan, Rabbi Huda Emer Thomas. Rabbi Huda says, we leave it to go ahead and die. Now, there was a Machlekes we had also that we mentioned yesterday as to when we say you leave it to graze, hey, which one are we talking about? Are we talking about, is it the first one or the second one? Now, if you hold the first one you offer, in other words, that means that that was bad at some point because it didn't have a partner, right? We do another Gorel, and then now it has a new partner, and now it's good again, right? The other opinion holds, no, you don't. You only use the second one because once it's no good, it can no longer be good again. Right. That was the, the concept of dichui, right? It's pushed off. It's, you know, it's pushed off. It's done. It's it, it's rejected. So Tanan, Rabbi Huda Imer Thomas. So Rabbi Huda says it's left to die. So Bishlam Rabbi Yechanan. This works well according to Rabbi Yechanan, who said yesterday, or he said actually a couple, you know, many uh, uh, centuries ago. Bishlam Rabbi Yechanan Dalmar Sheni Shebezug Rishon Yire. According to Rabbi Yechanan, that we're talking about which one. Um, the first one is left to grace because you can only use the second one because he holds a dichui. So the Rabbi Huda Yamus, right? And with that which Rabbi Huda says it should die. So Mishapir Bishen to the Shabazuk Sheni, right? Then you get Kapara, right, with the second one. El Rav, but according to Rav Davar Sheni Shabazuk Sheni Yira, who holds that you go ahead and um, that which we say. The one that grazes is the second one because you reuse the first one. The Rabbi Huda Yamus, according to Rabbi Huda, if that one, the first one, has to die, the second one is left to graze. Rabbi Huda by Meschapir, where would Rabbi Huda get kapara? And now, as if he holds his left to graze, is referring to the second one, and the first one is left to die. Well, what do you get kapara with? So Gemara says, no, that is not a. I, that wasn't what Rabbi Huda was talking about. Misa Rabbi Huda Asheni Shibzu uh, Asheni who said Rabbi Huda was saying that Thomas was referring to. The second one of the second group was left to graze. So, okay. Rabbi Huda, he was going saying say that the first one is the, the, the first one for the first group is left to die. And therefore, the second one you get full kapara from that one is not left to graze at all. That one um, is used. So, in other words, that was I, I, uh, that was a havamina that potentially Rabbi Huda was just saying, no, the first one is left to die and the second one is left to graze. No, no, no. Rabbi Huda was arguing and saying, no, no, that which you say said it was left to graze it is not left to graze rather it is left to be uh left to die left less to starve and to die the other uh, asked this way now this is much more of a caution but old on rabbi huda if you look further on in the mishnah furthermore says rabbi huda so rabbi huda comes to make a second statement he says now if the blood spills out right now you have no more blood from the animal that you shafted then you got to go ahead and get rid of its partner, right? Because once the blood spills out, 
that animal is dachut, right? That animal is pushed off. It's no longer good. Or mason ishtalech, or if the one that was supposed to be sent out, you should, then you have to pour out the blood because now the one that was shechted no longer has a partner. So bishlam the rav, I understand according to rav who holds that, in other words, Rav holds the concept that it's not duchly forever, that something can be bad and can become good again. And other words, that's the reason why I use the first one. So Reish Lapi Bechat, this is Tibor, that the first part he was arguing whether there is such concept that the Halach Lamash Misina that we discuss of a chatis is left to die, applies to a chatis tzibur. Maybe it's only by a chatis yachin. And therefore, in this case of chatis tzibur, it's yira, this is a common. And comes Rabbi Huda and argues, says, no, 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 we don't have, uh, right, uh, no, that could, one can still be left to die. The seifa plagi b'balchad. And according to, and then according to Rav, he can say the seifa, that which he comes to argue, is telling you the halacha that bali chayim are dichui, and therefore it's left to die. El Rabbi Yech, and I'm according to Rabbi Yech, and uh, who holds that even according to the Chacham, that the um, that the first one is is dachui. So my vaot, uh, my vaot. What is Rabbi Huda's second point? In other words, there are no two points of uh, the Kudus Amachlekes. It's not arguing on dichui b'chayim. Rather, it's it's the same point because everybody holds dichui b'chayim. We refer kasha. Therefore, it's a kasha as to uh, Rabbi uh, uh, as to Rabbi Yechon's understanding of why Rabbi Huda makes two statements. If Rabbi Huda is uh, uh, is really making the same point again because we already know that he they argue on the point of whether something can be nidcha uh, or dachli from uh, while it's alive. And the od and then so the two dots smack in the middle of Samachem and Aleph. The od Amr Rabbi Yehuda Nishbach Adam Yomos Hamishtalech. Furthermore, now we're going to go into this statement. So Rabbi Yehuda says the blood spills out the Yomos Hamishtalech. So Bishlam Nishbach Adam Yomos Hamish Yomos Hamish Taleach. It makes sense, according if the blood spills out. All right. So you had an animal, you shafted it, right? The blood spills. Now the Mishkalah, the one sent out, has to die. It can no longer be good. Why? That Kataloi Savid Mitzvasa. Because you didn't do the mitzvah. Um, you, you did not perform the mitzvah. Um Right, the dam the right? Because the blood is supposed to be. Uh, you're supposed to bring it. Uh, right, because you didn't have the blood. Um, because you because the mitzvah was not performed with the with the blood to be spilled, and therefore, since that you already shechted, but the mitzvah wasn't done with the blood because it spilled. So then, it's obvious the mitzvah wasn't done, and you need a new partner because nothing was done with the mishdalech. Ella mesa mishdalech, but if the one that was sent out, amay yishpa chadam. But if the seir mishlech dies and you have you shechted the first one and the blood is ready to be applied to the to to you know to all, all the places that were supposed to be applied right on the inside and the outside, why do you have to go ahead and let the seir mishlech? Unless mishlech, if that one dies, right? Am I yishpof? Or hadam? Haysavim mitzvasa. The point of the seir mishlech was to do a lottery with it. You did the lottery ready, so in other words, you already sort of fulfilled what you needed the seir mishlech, right? So Amri Debei Rabbi Yanai so says, no, that's not true, because Amar Kar, the Pasuk says, Yamod Chai Lifnei Hashem Lechaper. The Pasuk says, right, that it should be alive when you have the Kapara, right? The one that you sent out. And that was what he learned there. Ad Masa Yezaku Aliyaz Chai, Ad Shaz Matan Damisham Chaver. In other words, the animal Seim Yishalech has to be alive until after you apply the blood. So if the blood is still in the Kli, you have not performed the mitzvah of the, uh, uh, of the Azazel. The Azazel is not just to perform a lottery, but to perform a lottery and say, and push it off the cliff. Now, if you didn't push it, now if you, or or have it be alive while the blood is applied in this bath. If the blood was not applied in this bath while it was still alive, then you have not fulfilled your obligation. So, therefore, if the animal dies before you apply the blood, right? They say the, the Azazel dies before you apply the blood. Therefore, you need to go ahead and replace that one. Um, and get a new uh, Zazel and to do a new lottery. And then we go into the whole concept of one of the dies and, you know, you take two and then now you have, you know, a third one. So Tanan, Hossam, we learn over there, once again, right? So we did Shkalem, it's coming in handy, right? So you have the people of the city, we discussed that they send their Shkalem, either they send from outer towns, these are shekels for the year and it's used for the Karbonos. The Nignavu Oshavdu, and along the journey, right, they send a shlichim along, they were either stolen or they were lost. So, if they already, in other words, it was lost and stolen, and 
prior to that, they already retired. They already took the money out from the from the from the base amitash to to perform carbonos. So that's okay because remember, it doesn't have to be my coin that's used. As long as my coin is received by the mikdash, right? So just because once I give it to the gizbarim, even in my local town, then it's considered to be already part of the communal funds. And therefore, just the communal funds in Yishalayim, I have a chalik in it because I already gave here, you know, in, in, you know outside of Yishalayim. So if it was lost or stolen or lost, then... The, the people who, guess, who was stolen from the shalich, and they swear, you know, that it was stolen or lost, you know, it, we didn't keep it, whatever it was, and everything is good. The imlav. However, if the money was given and then it was lost and stolen prior to them taking the money to purchase carbonos, so therefore, since their money was basically lost prior to the communal funds uh, uh, be used to purchase animals, the Yishba and the Bnei Ir, they swear to the townspeople and they say, I'm sorry, guys, you guys are out of luck. Mm-hmm. The other people of the town have to go ahead and yeah. pay, pay again. However, if they find the money or the money is returned by the Ganavim, they're both considered Shkalim, both the old ones that were recovered and the new ones that they gave, they thought they were replacements. And they all go to the Mikdash, but it doesn't count for next year. In other words, you say, oh, I got a credit, right? You guys found my check. I got a credit. Credit me for next year. doesn't work like that. Rabbi Huda, says Rabbi Huda, no, 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 you get credit for next year. So you paid for this year and you paid for next year. So my time is Rabbi Huda. What's the reason Rabbi Huda? So I'm a rabbi, except Rabbi Huda. Chayvas shal shana zu, krivas la shana haba. Because your obligation from uh, from one year to the next can uh, can be counted for towards next year. So since I paid for this year, and even though I paid twice this year, so that money can be used also for next year. Count me for count me in for next year. I already paid. Give me a credit on my account on my ledger. So Ace Abaye. If you said, let's say you knew next year you you couldn't go. Right. You said, Saying this is my stolen for this year and, and for next, next year. year. I'm sending it now. Yeah. So according to Rabbi Huda, that would work, right? You know, yeah, right yeah. According to Rabbi Huda, that that would work, right? That's that's not, not, but that's not, 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 not Is he saying only the other? It sounds like the right? But because he says there is no, the Chum say it's impossible because right. money, the carbonos from this year, have to be purchased for money this year. Right. It can't be purchased for money last year. Rabbi Huda doesn't seem to hold that requirement. Right. So. To him, it's not a problem. It might be a special halacha to give every year. So the chachila probably couldn't, but with the Yevon, there is no, you haven't violated that rule. So let's look at our Mishnah. So that they lost the par in the seer. We had a bull ready to go. We had the seer ready to go. And they were lost. And they, they had others there, uh, the replaced, right? The, 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 you know, the uh, other replaced it. Which we don't know the halachas from. Also, if a uh, he goat that was separated aside for a, a carbon for a vodazara, and they replaced it with another one, and then they find the other ones. So now all of a sudden you have two parts, right? And you have two sirim. Kulon Yamusu Divre Rabbi Yehuda says Rabbi Yehuda, right? They all the, the extra ones are all left to die, right? And you can't say by the bottom line of Rashi, you can't say use it next year. Ah, oh, we got good for next year, right? We got we got extras. And Rabbi Ezra Shimon, I mean, he said, No, you don't leave it to die because you can't leave the to die. Rather, what we say is let it go ahead and graze. And develop a moon, sell and use the money for carbonus. Now, in this case, so the question is, why Rabbi? So how does Rabbi Hud understand this? Rabbi Hud says you're good to go from year to year. Why can't the pi, the par and the seir be good for next year? If we just said that Rabbi Huda says, okay, my shkala, my requirements, my giving communal funds, right? The communal funds can go towards next year. Why can't the par and the seir who have the kedusha? For Yom Kippurim, right? They were set aside for the for 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 the seer and for the par. Let that count towards next year. Why doesn't Rabbi Huda say in this case, right? So Amar Lei, Karbonos, 
Sibur Kamarta. So turn the page. So it says Kabbalah Sibur. You talking about Sibur? Should have gone Sibur. No, Kabbalah and Sibur are different, right? Kid Rabbi Tavi, Amar Rabbi Yishe, Dama Rabbi. Right, uh, uh, could the Rebbe Tavi Amar of Yeshia, the Amar of Yetavi Amar Rosia, Amar Karl the Pasuk says, Zos Olas Chodesh Bechadsha Amar Torah. The Torah says, This is the Ola for the Chodesh in its month, Amar Torah. So Chodesh Behavi, uh, so it says, Chodesh Behavi, the carbon Mitchum Chadasha. So it says, Therefore, we learn over here that you have to go ahead and bring uh, 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 each and every year for, for its month and for its year. In other words, we learn from here that Kama Sibur cannot be brought from, from, a previous, so from, from a previous year. So therefore, he, doesn't, he holds like this opinion, who holds that the Karbonos can't, so you might get credit for the next year, but the communal funds, the purchase of the Karbonos cannot be, it has to be money from this year. Uh, so so Gora says, um, Okay, so this makes sense according to the seir. Now, remember, the seir, the seir is purchased with communal funds, and the communal and the communal uh, carbonos have to be purchased with this uh, with this years. However, par, but according to a par, which we know we said earlier is coming is the coin gadol's carbon who comes from his money, Michael and Amar. What are you going to say in that case? So our answer is gzera par alter seir. If we allow the par to be left over for next year, people might let, leave over the seer for next year, and the seer has a requirement to be purchased from this year's funds. So Gamar says, I am sure. You know it's a bidyeder. Huh? I say you know it's a bidyeder that you can't carry it from one year to the next. Well, ac- according to uh, uh, Rabbi Tavi Amr Yesh, it's a requirement. Oh. According to the requirements, because the Pasuk says, Zos Olas Chodesh Bechodsha. So Gamar says, Omishum Gzeira Yamu. So we're going to ask this question a couple of times. Because of the Gzeira, Right, because of say you might confuse the par with the with with the with the seer, we're gonna let it die. All right, uh, you know, Peter will be very proud. Right, we don't even want to leave the animal die as a chashash. So how do you do that? Oh, and furthermore, ha the Rabbi Tavi, I'm a Rabbi Yishia, Kufa Mitzvahi. It's all the chachila, sort of way you pointed out. The Amr Rabbi Yudah Marshmul, Kabbalah Sibur Avim Be'Echad Benisan, Mitzvah Lavi Mera Chadash. Right, the one that's brought in the first of Nisan, which is the first of the beginning of the new year, it's a mitzvah to bring it from the new ones. Maybe mina yashim. If you bring it from last year's yatsa, right? El shechazer mitzvah. Rather, you, you miss the optimal mitzvah, but we see it's still good be the eved. So what do you see over here? So it's only lechatchila. So be the eved, it would be okay even if we not only the parvati the seir. So el rabbi zero lefish ein hagarel kaveya mishan lechaver. Rather, because we'll say the lottery is. Not good from one year to the next. So if you have a part uh, seer, so say, okay, this was the seer la Hashem, this was one well, Azazel, and we'll use this one next year. That's the reason why you can't do it. So Morris says, okay, I have a simple uh, 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 solution, right? The nice uh, uh Venagril. Go ahead, all right, bring the same animals, bring the two seers, and do a new lottery. So the lottery is not going from year to year. You do a new lottery each year. We're just using last year's animals. Perhaps people who won't know they did a new lottery, and they'll say, "Oh, the lottery is good from one year to the other," not knowing that they were that they had to do a new uh, lottery. So atinach seir. Okay, this works well with the seir because the seir you have to do a lottery, but the par, the bull, there is no reason because there's nothing. There's no shaykhus with the girl. So par ma'iklenem. There's one par ma'iklenem. It's a zero par al to seir. So it's a zero. That the power could be left over because the seir could not be left over because people might confuse and say there was no lottery. And because of a gzera, that people will confuse the bull with the seir, right? They'll say that, uh, you know, you can't leave it, we're going to let it die. So, we'll say, no, maybe it's a gzera because if we allow the, this animal to go the next year, people will be confused that in the case of a chatas whose owner died, right? People will, will, will assume that they can use it again, right? That the, the Kohen dies, and there's a new one brought next year. They say, oh, well, they used the Kohen who died, the Kohen God who died, and they use this carbon next year. So maybe in a case of a regular person brings a khatas, right? Somebody else can use this khatas even after he dies. And we know there's Allah Lamash Sinai that you can you reuse it. So Itinach Par. So this works well according to the Par, which that is the khatas of the Kohen. Seir, Michael, and What do you say about the uh, by the seer, which is not a chadas? I see my good It's a zero seer, all two par. 
We'll say, no, you can't reuse the seer because you can't use the part because people might confuse it with chat uh, shemisabalo. And therefore, we'll say you can't use the part. So, atu par, so mishum gzera yamusu. Why? Because of a gzera, we're going to let it die, right? Elo gzera mishum chat shavash nasa. Rather, because the, uh, um, it's a gzera, if we use it next year, then maybe that we'll still get to this. That's there's an issue of the chatas can't be over a year old, right? The seer can't be over a year, it has to be ben shnasa in its first year, right? So if it was going to use it this year and we can't use it this year, we'll use it next year. Well, it might be too old. If it might be too old, then you can't use it next year anyway, right? Even if you're allowed to go ahead and leave it over, it's too old, right? There's a requirement that it has to be in its first year, right? It's a gzeri, it's a gzeri, it might be too old. That might be too old. If, by definition, if you leave it over another year, it's going to be, right? It has to be at least eight days old. So a minimum, right? It's eight days in a year. Right? So I says, no, holy cash, Rebbe. It can be like Rebbe. The tiny, we're learning the Bryce. So this is a halacha, and then it comes to um, a bata uh, arechoma, that a house in a walled city person uh, sells it. He can go ahead and redeem it within the first year. He can redeem it from the first year from the seller. If not, then it stays uh, with, the, uh, with, with the buyer. Uh, I think until Yovo. Right? Um, anyway, so what is defined by a year? So the Gemara says of the time we learn a brisa, Shana Tmima Maina Shalosh Meos the Shishim Vachamisha Yom Kminin Yemei Sachama Divir Rebbe says Rebbe three hundred sixty five days like a solar year. Now we go three fifty four right in our uh, the, the lunar calendar right. So if you go Yom Kippur to Yom Kippur without uh, 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 Ibriyot right, you know it was just twelve months three fifty four. Now if the animal happened to have been eight days old ready for the Yom Kippurim, so you're going to have eight. Plus 354 is only 362, less than the 365. So it could still, according to Rabbi, you can still find a case. It could be in its first year in both times, right? So he'll take Rabbi. Says, no, 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 no. You count 12 months from day to day. In the case of the Batari Choma, the house in a walled city, the, the Nisavra, and if it happens to be a leap year, so is it 12 months, is it 13 months? Nisavra so, uh, so the seller gets the extra month. He actually gets 13 months. We go by calendar date. So therefore, if it's whatever, right? First day of, uh, and you get the, the extra month, you actually get 13 months, right? So now, so that was the case here. So he holds like Rebbe. So it is possible that the animal could be still in its first year. So if it's still in its first year, let us reuse it next year mm-hmm. for the par in this year. So So this works well according to this year. So par ma'ika lemeimar, but when it comes to a par, right? So what are you can say in that case, right? By in the case of a par, uh, uh, right? The shehu ben shalosh, right? Which is in his third year, right? If the, the bull is in his third year, we have no issue with that, right? So tina say par ma'ika lemeimar. So gzera par al seer. So the par because it could be bad, right? Because of the seer. So mishum gzera. So if because we don't want to use this, the seer because it might be in its second year and therefore we don't want to leave over any of them because even though it is, yes, it is possible that it might be in its first year, like we said, in case if it was eight days old on Yom Kippur mm-hmm. 1, Yom Kippur 2, it's 362, but it, and it might be bad. So therefore, the seer is no good. And I say the power of the seer. So Mishum Gzera Yomus, and because of the Gzera, we're going to say that the power should be left to, to, to die. But, and furthermore, Right? You don't confuse the two halachas because an animal that's too old, we don't leave it to die. It's only a chatas, you know, shemesa or other halachas. But when, if, if the if the seir is too old and it was designated for Yom Kippurim, it's not left to die, right? Then the, that case is left to graze. So we're not leaving it to die, right? This is based right? As if it's standing in the basic kfaros, i.e., it's in a, a place where of tuma. And therefore, basically, it's, it's sort of stuck there. We let it graze until it develops a moon. Eloma rova, zera mishum takala. You know why? The reason why we don't re- reuse it for next year, because we don't want to have a, 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 a two, a, uh, these three animals, right? Two seer and a par left over for next year, right? Having to watch them to make sure that they're not used, right? Perhaps there's, there's no meal or people use it for something else. So therefore, because we don't want it to be mixed up with an entire long year, therefore, we don't leave it over 
for the next year, and we'll continue tomorrow, Mitzvah Shem, to explain what this uh, takala is. Shkayach, everybody. Everybody have a wonderful day.